Welcome back then guys to this live stream. It is now time for the sprint race for IFMC GP2 and if you didn't see what happened in the feature race yesterday uh, in the end uh, it was uh, Felix Rosenquist who managed to pick up his first ever IFMC GP2 victory with teammate George Russell in second place. The gap between the pair of them in the championship now down to just two points between them going into this sprint race and then you had Mitch Evans who ran and left the podium in the Vortex racing car. Good for him considering that uh, so far this season he's had pretty... He's had a pretty horrid season, but uh, finally getting off his feet here at Silverson after a nice battle with Lando Norris. Well, as you know, the top eight get reversed, and today it sees Joel Eriksson, uh, fellow Felix Rosenquist's fellow compatriot, start on the pole. Uh, Sean Gallo in second place, and Luca Giotto in third. So it'll be very interesting to see who's going to win this race. We've got 18 laps of action in this sprint race. So before we start then, guys, let's mute this, turn this up a little. And let's have a look at the grid for the sprint race here at Silverstone. Here we go then. So on pole position, it is Joel Eriksson with Sean Goliath in second. Luca Giotto starts third with teammate Sergei Sorotkin in fourth. Lando Norris starts in fifth with Mitch Evans in sixth. The two Red Bull Academies lock out row four. George Russell seventh and yesterday's winner Felix Rosenquist in eighth. Santiago Urishia starts ninth with teammate Alex Lynn in tenth. Nick De Vries starts 11th with Sasha Fenestras in 12th position. Nikita Mazepin starts 13th alongside him is Norman Nato in 14th position. 15th goes to Dan Tictum, 16th for Lucas Yora, 17th goes to Lance Stroll, 18th for Nobuharu Masushita. Then towards the back of the grid we have the Academies and Willows Grand Prix cars. Mick Schumacher starts 19th, Louis Razier in 20th. And then on the back row of the grid, it's Jolien Palmer and Pierre Gasly. And that is the grid for the sprint race here at Silverstone. So there is the grid then, guys, for the sprint race. And the weather, of course, being bright and sunny. So leave your predictions, but without further ado, let's get to the sprint race. So... Here we are then on the grid, Dennis. Ericsson on the right of your screens. Galayo on the left. Who's going to get the lead into turn one as we wait for the five red lights to go off to signify the start of the sprint race here at Silverstone? It'll be very interesting to see who will lead it coming out of Cops Corner now then as we look from Joel Ericsson. One light, two lights, three lights, four lights, five lights are on. And it is going for the sprint race here at Silverstone. It's a good start from Ericsson, who's gone away well. Goliath unable to keep up. Giotto has had a very fantastic time. In fact, both of your have had a good start as well. Trying to jump Goliath at the start. And they've done so, both up to second and third. Goliath's had a terrible start. As they now try and charge for Ericsson, has everybody got through Cop's corner? Okay, good start from Rosenquist to get up into sixth place now then. Has everybody got through? Okay, we think we must have a retirement somewhere. No, we don't. Oh, Spinner! Spinner at the back. There's some contact at the back. It's one of the Vortex and one of the GRMs that has gone off at Maggots. I don't know which one it is. Let's have a look. I think it might have been Stroll and perhaps the Lucas Yora down at Maggots. Let's have a look now then. Into the corner now, then let's see what on earth happened as the pair that make contact into Maggots. Oh, contact from behind from Lucas Yora. And it'll be very interesting to see what that looked like from his perspective there. R spinning right in front of the five cars that were behind. Um, Lucas Yora there in the process. Let's have a look from his perspective through into Cops corner now then. So coming out of Cops, trying to see if we can get a move on. As you can see, Stroll on the left-hand side coming through into Maggots. And let's see what on earth happened. And, uh, oh, it just didn't look like that. You saw Stroll on the left-hand side. That incident will have to be investigated for sure between the pair of them. Both of their races been wrecked for the second race in a row. A wrecked race for Lance Stroll. He's going to have to do it all from the back of the pack. So those two are going to bring up the rear. But it's Ericsson who leads away. But Sorokin having an attack on Ericsson. He's going to look to the inside. But Sorokin defends it through into there. Giotto looking for any opportunity to pass. As Evans goes down the inside of Galio into Stone Corner. And he gets the move done. Galio up into fourth place now then as uh, Russell is down to eighth his nearest rival Felix Rosenquist up in sixth place if it stays like this the gap will be one point rather than two unless Rosenquist can make his way up through the field and so far he could have a very good chance of taking the lead in the driver's championship as they all come out of the club corner now then as Sorotkin looking for a way pass on Joel Erickson as they come down towards Bridge Corners out goes Lance Stroll Stroll has done for the day 
and uh, I think he might have beached it in the gravel. It doesn't look like he rejoined uh, because uh, there's nobody behind him. But we believe that Stroll has beached it in the gravel. So out of the race goes Lance Stroll, and we're down to 21 runners. Obviously, there is incident between Yoa and Str between him and Yoa is under investigation after this has all unfolded. As meantime, so can have a look at Ericsson there, but has to go defensive because Giotto had an attack on him there, as did Evans. So uh, the pair they're looking to try and pass if they can. As a come out of Brooklyn, Ericsson trying to pull a bit of a gap on Sir Rotkin if they can as he goes around the first part of Love Field now then for the first time today around the second part the EMRs will try and keep him company as best as possible now as I go around Woodco EMR slowly closing into light base Sony racing for second in the team's championship as Ericsson sets another fastest lap then did this rock and then Giotto then Evans as Evans now looks at the inside of Giotto would he get the move done on the Italian no Giotto shutting the door into Cop's corner there then as Rosenquist now finds himself all over the backside of Sean Goliath as they go in towards Maggots and Beckett's Rosenquist looks at the inside Goliath Shuts a door on him there into those sets of corners. Giotto, Sorotkin trying to close back into Ericsson, but Ericsson's got a bit of a gap now in front of Sorotkin at this stage of the race as they come down the hangar straight, heading into towards Stoke Corner. It looks like Sorotkin's keeping up with his slipstream, but not close enough. Evans trying to get up close to Giotto. Giotto having to defend the inside, but Evans was not close enough to make an attack on him. That time around, as right as Chris goes down the inside of Goliath into Stoke Corner, and he gets the move done up into fifth place. Goes Felix Rosenquist as Russell takes Norris at Stowe as well. So up to Sam goes George Russell. But at this stage, as Yoa pits, he must have sustained some damage after the contact. Unless he got some sort of problem. We'll have to go back to him. Let's see. Did he suffer from a problem? No, it was a damage from Weng as caused uh, by the contact with... Um, we Lance Stroll had appeared, so uh, he's having to come into the pits to repair some damage. But already his race effectively ruined, and he couldn't even be a lap down by the time he comes out of the pits, or close to being a lap down. So uh, that's that for him, really. As he comes around Abbey Corner now, then Evans looking quite racy right on the back of uh, Luca Giotto as they come down towards Bridge Corner now. Then will Evans try and move down into Bridge? Giotto shutting the door through into Bridge Corner now, then as they will approach Priory. And uh, Evans still struggling to find a way through on Giotto at this stage. Giotto looking to close back in at the same time onto teammate Sorotkin. As Sorotkin looked like he broke that a little bit later than what Joel Eriksson did. Anything to try and catch back into his slipstream at this stage of the race. Eriksson just going around the right hander at this stage now. Then as he'll go around Woodcote. And the Swede now then about to start lap 3 of 18 now then. Here at Silverstone, so it's Ericsson who leads to Rodkin in second, Giotto in third, Evans fourth, Rosenquist in fifth, and Goliath running out the top six. But Russell's right on the backside of him, looking to try and get to the points. At this stage, if it stays like this, then Rosenquist uh, and Russell will be tied on points. But Russell will still lead it because he's obviously had more wins than what Rosenquist has had this season. But it uh, looks like Russell will still want to have a little bit of a points advantage if that's the case. But at the same time, Norris is still sticking with Russell. At this stage of the race, Rosenquist slowly closing in on that battle for third between Giotto and Evans. As they come down the hangar straight, will Evans try a look uh, on Giotto? He's going to look to the outside into hangar straight. Uh, but again, Giotto covers him off there. And uh, Rosenquist brought in a little bit closer now to that battle. And so Rodkin's getting close right onto the prowl again of Joel Eriksson. So Eriksson will have to fend off the lead a little bit more in this race as they come up towards Vale now then for the third time today. Just rounding those curbs now then. And Sorotkin getting closer to the backside. He wants to grab his first victory since, well, in fact, last season in the sprint race at this track, in fact. So it'll be an entire season since uh, since Sorotkin last took a victory in IFMC GP2. And he's looking to try and do the business here in Silverstone as he tries to close in on current race leader Joel Eriksson as they feed their way flat out through Bridge Corner now. In the meantime, Evans trying to find a way through on Giotto, but uh, not close enough to make a run into Priory. Looked like he had a little go into Bridge there, but again, Giotto covered him off. And now Rosenquist is right on the back on this battle. Now then in this race, as Russell still stuck behind Goliath uh, as he battles for that final points place in this race. Around the final few corners then goes Ericsson and Sorotkin. Sorotkin's got a bit of a gap in front of teammate Giotto now then. At this stage of the race now then, as the all-round Woodcoat now then. Let's see what the gap is like between the top two runners now then. As uh, we now are on lap four of 18, so 15 laps remaining in the sprint race. Round Cops corner we go. Let's see the gap. And uh, it's 0.6 seconds between the pair. They look like uh, Sorotkin had a lot more speed going into Stowe than what Joel Eriksson did there because he looked to have closed him in a little bit on the exit. Evans has a little go at Giotto into the first part of Mackett. Isn't able to make that moved out. 
uh, make that move stick. It looks like Rosenquist is a little bit far back to challenge him at this stage. But will Evans try and get Giotto this time down the hangar straight now? Then Evans in the slit stream of Luca Giotto. He's going to look to the inside this time. Giotto doesn't think about covering him. Has Evans got the move done on Luca Giotto? Down the inside into Stowe Corner now then. Has he got the podium place off the Italian? And yes, he has. Evans up into third place getting the move done on Luca Giotto. And now finds himself onto the podium. Now Giotto will have to watch out and look at his mirrors as Felix Rosenquist now finds himself into the clutches of him now then as um so now around uh, club corner we go Evans will now try and close up to the battling pair in front of Ericsson and Sorotkin to see if he can try and get his second victory of the season and a second sprint race victory as well this season as well his first since Bahrain sprint um uh, a few weekends ago through bridge corner now then we go look like a Sorokin rode over a few bumps going down that hill there meantime Giotto though stars and given up on Evans I thought for a minute there he might have punched the move down the inside into Priory but uh, it's not going to quite work out that time around as they just feed their way around Brooklyn's now then Giotto deciding to stay single far for the moment in fact where's Rosenquist Rosenquist has got has lost his front has got front wing damage what ever has happened to Rosenquist? He's got front wing damage. Let's have a look and see what happened. Oh, he spun at Priory. Rosenquist has spun. And uh, Goliath, did he collect him? And uh, no, it was Noise who collected him. Noise has also got some front wing damage. And uh, well, contact between them. That will have to be investigated for sure. And uh, well, that's that really now then. There's Rosenquist going around the, um, the next few corners on the track. As uh, now it's going to allow Russell to possibly pull away in the Drivers' Championship. It now puts him into the points of the result and gives Giotto some breathing space. Rosenquist losing a bit of front wing and him and Norris have got to come back into the pits for a new front wing. As Evans now sets the fastest lap of the race at 127.126, I think that said. As uh, meantime, Danny inside goes Russell into Cops' corner. I think that's the first time we've seen a move at Cops this weekend. And Russell up into fifth place, getting the move done on Goliath. And up into fifth place goes the championship leader, George Russell. As he goes around Magazine back, it's Norris and Rosenquist into the pits to repair their front wings. Their incident being investigated after the race. Uh, so, meantime, Giotto trying to look back through on Evans, not close enough to make an attack that time around. As Russell will now try and close up to this battle for third if he can. Around Stowe Corner we go. And so now through the left hander, heading up towards Vale and then into Club. So, now up towards Vale we go now then. And then around Club Corner. And uh, let's see if Giotto is able to um, to make the move. St see if Giotto can try and get Evans back as he tries to get a run. In the meantime, Sorotkin getting close now to the slit stream of Joel Eriksson in this battle for the lead of the race now. Then through Bridge Corner and now up towards Priory we go. And uh, well, it will be it it will be two out of two sprint race victories in the UK for EMR if Sorotkin was able to pull the move off on Eriksson. Remember, Gi Giotto won the sprint race at Donington. Um, a few weeks ago and uh, it looks like Sorotkin will want to win the sprint race here at Silverstone so it'll be two out of two sprint race victories in the UK for EMR if he's able to find a way through on Joel Eriksson but Eriksson so far keeping Sorotkin back from the moment from from doing that as Russell now pulls a gap on uh, Sean Goliath. Meantime, the two Mikami boys looking quite lonely. Lin managed to get the jump on his teammate at the start of the race as uh, Lin started behind him on the grid. Meantime, look how close Sorotkin is now on uh, on Ericsson. As uh, we saw a little bit there, Giotto still on the prowl of Ericsson. Sorotkin had a little go at Ericsson into Maggots. Didn't quite work out. Through in towards Beckett's now. Then we go. Sorotkin, will he try and grab the lead now from Joel Ericsson as they come down the hangar straight? Will Sorotkin grab the lead from Ericsson now then? Down the hangar straight we go now. Then he talks, so he's going to look to the outside. Side. Not very wise, Sorotkin, to do that as Ericsson covers him off down that hangar straight. And same with Giotto on Evans there, unable to pull the move off in towards Stowe Corner now. Then Sorotkin right on the prowl of the Lopez Racing Development driver. Will he try and maybe dive it down the inside into Vale? No, he's going to stay single file. What about Giotto? He's a little bit too far back to challenge on Evans that time around. Both East Midlands Racing cars looking quite strong at this stage of the race as we have 13 laps remaining in this sprint race now then. Up towards the flat out Abbey Corner now then. And uh, Sorotkin right on the toe of... Um, of Joel Eriksson as they come down towards Bridge Corner now. Then Sorotkin having to go into Bridge. But uh, again, Eriksson closing the door into that corner and fending him off at this stage. Giotto trying to close back in 
onto Evans if they can. At the same time, the pair of them look to be closing up onto that battle for the lead. So we could even have a four-way scrap for the lead at this stage of the race as they come around Brooklyn's now then. Ericsson trying to fend off Sorotkin if he can through Luffield A and then approaching Luffield B. We will go. Will Sorotkin try and get the move done on Joel Ericsson as he gets into the slipstream now then round Woodcoat. And let's see what Sergei is able to do then. He tucks up into his slipstream now then. And uh, Sorotkin not close enough to make a pass into Cop's corner. Same with Giotto on Evans. As now coming out of the Cop's corner we go now. There's Sorotkin down the inside of the of Ericsson. But Ericsson shutting the door through the first part there then. Round Maggots into Beckett's we go now then. And it looks like Evans has got a bit of a gap now on Giotto it seems. But round Beckett's we go. Sorotkin still trying to find a way through. On Joel Eriksson as they come down the hangar straight. Well, so what can go for the move this time again? He chooses the outside. Again, not wise from the Russian. And as a result, Eriksson holds on to the lead for the moment in this race. Giotto not close enough to make a pass on, um, on Evans at this stage to try and get that far nil podium place off him. As uh, Russell slowly starts to close in onto that battle as well. So he looks to try and get third place. As, uh, as you can see, Sorokin had a go at Ericsson into Vale there. But Ericsson again shutting the door. And it brings Evans and Giotto closer now to that battle for the lead. As they come down the straight. It looks like somebody set the fastest lap. It might have been either Rosenquist or Norris. It's in fact Norris. And it's a 127.119 as a result of the clear who's getting to so far. Norris holding on to the bonus point for the fastest lap of the race. As now up towards Priory. Sorotkin not close enough to make a move on Jolo. Ericsson at this stage trying to break that a little bit later if they can as he can now then as they go around Priory and Brooklyn's Sorotkin not giving up on the lead of this race now then trying to break trying to find some weak points in Joel Ericsson's driving at this stage through the right hand there we go as they'll now head down the straight towards Woodcote and uh, will Sorotkin find a way through now then 11 laps remaining uh, in this race, we're on lap 8 of uh, of 18 in this sprint race now then. As they go around Cop's corner now then. And Sorodkin really trying his best to get the move done. Ericsson, Evans getting close. Giotto maybe starting to fall back now from, uh, from Mitch Evans. And if he's not careful, he might need to focus pretty soon on... Um, on uh, George Russell, who's slowly closing into those guys in front of the moment. The current championship leader. Through Maggots we go and into Beckett. And uh, Lynn still keeping Eurasia behind at this stage as the two Kenny Star Motorsport cars fight it out for seventh place as they go down the, uh, the hangar straight. Meantime, Sorotkin still trying everything to get hold of uh, Ericsson in front as they go around the left and right hand and Alan through Vale into Club. And. Uh, Trying to get as, as much traction out the corner as possible. As Norris sets another fastest lap of 127.069. So um, that's currently who's holding on to the bonus point at the moment for the fastest lap of the race. Currently Lando Norris. Round bridge corner now then we go. As Sorotkin tries to, uh, to get hold of Ericsson in front. Not close enough to get him this time around. In towards uh, Brooklyn's we go. And then they'll approach the double right-hander at Luffield. Through Luffield A. And then to Luffield B we go. Evans getting closer to the top two now then. I apologise for the drop of frames. Uh, it's uh, Russell now getting closer and closer now to the backside of, uh, of Giotto. Still got a bit to try and catch up. But still within 10 laps it's possible. Lap 9 of 18 now then we are on for race leader Joel Eriksson. Who's still... Trying to keep company back. There's a load of cars trying to get hold of him for the lead of this race. It could even turn into a five-car scrap once Russell closes into this, this battle. Because he's continuing to close in on the top four at this stage. Out of Beck as we go. A lot more traction there that Sorokin had than what Ericsson did. Can he just tag onto his slipstream just to get closer to him on the next lap? He's not going to be close enough to make a pass this time around. As out goes Sean Galayo. Galayo out of the race. A chance for points has gone down the toilet for Galayo. What's happened to him? And it's a brake problem for the Indonesian. Sean Galayo out of the race. And we're down to 20 runners as a result. It now puts Lin into the points in the Makamo car. But Galayo, after scoring so well yesterday and having a chance for more points today, it's all come to nothing. Sean Galayo out of the sprint race. And we're down to 20 runners in this race. As now Sorotkin getting closer again to the back of Joel Eriksson's to come towards Vale and uh, Club as uh, now they go around these section of corners, Giotto trying to close back in onto e Evans but still quite a bit to close in on 
as uh, meantime it's going on down at the, the rest of the field as uh, the Willows Grand Prix cars and Academy cars try to make their way up through the field uh, at this stage nice and Rosenquist will gain some places as a result of um, Anyo as well as a result of um, <clears throat> of Goliath retiring a little earlier. So Rockin had a go at uh, Ericsson there down into Priory. And it uh, looks like Evans has dropped back a bit more from that top two confirmation that Sean Goliath is out of the race. And again, Ericsson going defensive into Luffield there then. So Rockin is closer than what he has been before on the Lopez Racing Development car as they come around Luffield. Will Sorotkin try and get the move done this time? Round Woodcote. Will Sorotkin get, grab the lead from Ericsson as they come down the pitch straight? He tucks up into his sleep He's going to look to the inside into Cop's corner. Will Sorotkin get it done this time? No again. Ericsson able to break a little later and keep hold of the lead. Evans looking for any opportunity to pounce upon as a pair go around Maggots and then into Beckett. Then they will approach Chapel very soon. And uh, so now, into Chapel now then. Will Sorot can try and get him down the hangar straight this time. He tries to get in the slipstream of the Swedish driver. He's going to look to the inside. Will Sorot can grab the lead from Ericsson as they go down the hangar straight. Has Sorot can done enough to grab the lead from Ericsson down the inside to Stone? No. Ericsson again just able to hang it around the outside. I thought Sorot had had him then. But Ericsson, brilliant defending to keep hold of the lead. At this stage, Evans getting closer now as it's become a freeway scrap for the lead. Giotto and Russell will join suit probably soon as they get closer to the battles. Ericsson continues to form up a train in this race now then. In towards Abbey we will go now then as this race gets tense for the lead of the race. Down towards Bridge Corner we go as Sorotkin again looks to the inside into Bridge. Ericsson defends the inside. Will Evans try and take advantage, try and grab second from Sorotkin. Sorotkin goes defensive and uh, keeps all the second place for the moment in this race. As uh, Giotto getting closer to their battle in front now then for the lead. And same with Russell so it could have become a five car scrap for the lead in this sprint race now then it's getting quite tense uh, in these remaining laps as uh, Ericsson will soon start lap 11 of 18 so we'll have eight laps remaining in this sprint race as he starts lap 11 now then as he comes down the pit straight before approaching Cops Corner Sorotkin not close enough to pounce same with Evans on Sorotkin as they all feed their way around Cops Corner now then Giotto trying to close back in if he can as they just go around these section of corners around Maggots and now into Beckett Sorotkin Trying to break that little bit later through the section of corners. And uh, will he be able to get the slip on Ericsson down the hangar straight now? Then Sorotkin trying to get up close if he can. It doesn't look like he's close enough to make an attack on Ericsson. So Ericsson will keep hold of the lead going into Stowe Corner now. Then Evans wasn't even close to Sorotkin as well. So no major overtaking opportunities being done at the section of corners now. Then out of the left hander up towards club we go. And uh, so that's pretty much that. Giotto and Russell now getting close to that train. And uh, pretty much only a few feet for Giotto to be right on the prowl of Evans again. And Russell's not that far either. So it could slowly turn into a five-car scrap for the lead here at Silverstone. As they come down towards Bridge Corner now then. Sorotkin trying to get a run possibly into Priory now then. Will he try and get him? Ericsson goes defensive. Sorotkin wasn't even close enough anyway to pull an attack on the Swede. As uh, now they come up towards Brooklyn's now then. Around the left hand there we go. And uh, er Ericsson still trying to fend off these guys at this stage of the race. Around Luffield 2 we go. As they come out of the corner before approaching Woodcote. Will Sorotkin try and get the move done on Ericsson down the pit straight this time. As we have 7 laps remaining in this race. Lap 12 of 18 we are now on. Uh, Sorotkin not close enough as they all feed their way round Cops Corner now. Then Sorotkin having a run on Ericsson. He's going to look to the inside into Maggots. Will he get the move done here? Nope. Uh, backside of that one through into Maggots. Then into Beckett. And then they will soon approach Chapel. And now will Sorotkin try the move again on Joel Ericsson as they come down the hangar straight now. Then he tucks up into the slitch team. He tries the outside again. Not very wise, Sorotkin. And as a result, Ericsson fends him off there then. And uh, so that's that really. But Sorotkin still sticking with him at this stage with seven laps remaining in this sprint race. The lead is getting quite tense. Uh, right there at the front, Sorotkin stays single file through into Vale there. Doesn't risk a dive bomb into that corner. So Uishi is continuing to lose time to Lynn as uh, they fight for the final points place. 
to try and salvage something out of this weekend if they can as uh, Gasly stuck behind Masashita. Meantime, here are the leaders now. Then Sorotkin still trying to find a way through on Ericsson through bridge corner. Now, then we go. Will Sorotkin try and dive it down the inside into Priory? No, he's going to stay single file through into that left hander. And uh, so that will be that really into Brooklyn's we go. And uh, up towards Luffield A and B on the track. Through Luffield A and now up towards Luffield B we will go. As Evans, Giotto and Russell look to pounce in case a mistake happens in front. As they go around Woodcut now then. As they will have six laps remaining when they cross the line. Lap 13 of 18 we are now on. So Otkin tucks up. He's going to look to the inside into Cop's corner. But uh, Ericsson shuts the door there. And uh, pretty much last minute there, Ericsson saw Sorotkin through into Cops corner as they will now approach Maggots and then they'll approach Bre Beckett now then for the 13th time today. Sorotkin still trying to get the lead in this race and get his first victory since last season. Through Chapel now then as they go down the hangar straight. Will Sorotkin get Ericsson this time around down the hangar straight? Will he be even close enough to mount an attack on the Swede now? Then there's not enough straight to go. Sorotkin dies it down the inside into Stoke Corner. Has he got the move this time? Ericsson still sticking with him. Through into Stoke Corner now then. They go side by side. Through into Stoke. But Ericsson again just able to help hold him off and keep all of the lead. That was as close as Sorotkin got to making the pass that time around. And uh, well... That's pretty much that then really is to go around club corner. And uh, well, that's that really as far as they are concerned. As they go up towards Abbey. And then they will approach uh, Bridge Corner. Now they're rocking, looking to the inside. And again, Ericsson covers him off around Bridge. Evans getting closer again to this battle. So Rockin defends the inside just in case Evans tries to do something. And keeps hold of uh, second place now then. As now through... These section of corners we go on the track. Let's see around these next few corners now then. Through into Luffield B. Ericsson's now got a little bit of breathing space as a result of Evans trying to attack. Uh, but that might close up a little bit later on in the race. Five laps remaining in this sprint race. So on lap 14 of 18 now then. Here at Silverstone as they now approach Cops Corner for the 14th time today. Sorotkin trying to close back up if he can. Coming out of Cops. And then they will approach Maggots and Beckett's now then on the track. As this top five is extremely close now then. It must be said, Ericsson still has a bit of a gap in front. So Otkin trying to break a little later through these Beckett's complex of corners. Evans looking to try and get in the slipstream of the pair of them in front. Not close enough to Sorokin. I think Sorokin's probably stuck on Ericsson's slipstream, which is probably why he's able to stay in front by a decent amount of time. Through Stowe Corner we go now then. It's getting quite closer now then as this top five starts to group up uh, towards the closing stages of this sprint race now then. This is going to get quite tense. We could even have a final lap dash for the victory here at Silverstone for these guys. Around club corner we go. Russell looking good to increase his lead in the Drivers' Championship to up to four points at the moment because uh, Rosenquist is not holding on to the bonus points. So far, Norris is. So uh, at this stage, the gap will be up to four points between Russell and Rosenquist by the end of this race line. And up towards Priory we go. Sorokin closing back in again on the Swede. And uh, some more battling has to be more defensive driving may have to be done now for Joel. Coming out of Brooklyn's now then up towards Luffield A and B on the track. Through Luffield A. Approaching Luffield B now then before approaching Woodcote. Uh, so they will now have four laps to go when they cross the line. Lap 15 of 18. We now start the gap between the top two as uh, both Ericsson and Sorotkin come towards the first corner, which is Cops. Let's have a look now. Then the gap is not is not 0.5 seconds. That's how it looks at this stage. As they go around Maggots and Beckett's, Sorotkin trying to get up close through these section of corners. Trying to see where, where a weak point is for the young Swede. And uh, he closed right in on the exit of Beckett's through to Chapel. Will Sorokin try to get a run down the hangar straight now then? Here we go. Will Sorokin get close enough to the back of Ericsson? Again, it doesn't look like it. Ericsson able to stay in front at this stage. Russell isn't getting close to Giotto as much as he would have thought of at this stage. Uh, Giotto keeping the gap consistent between himself and championship leader George Russell. Up towards Vale and Club we will go. Uh, so Evans still looks for any opportunity to pounce upon in this race. Round club corner we go. And uh, 
Sorokin knows he's the quicker out of him and Ericsson, but he just can't seem to find a way through because Ericsson's just defending left, right and centre just to hold off to this lead through Abbey we go. We're at the four o'clock mark, so we're half an hour away from the British Grand Prix. Going down through bridge corner, keeping it single fire. Will Sorokin try a lunge down into Priory? No, he doesn't. He doesn't think about a move into Priory Corner and stays put for now. Russell closing back in now to Giotto as they look to fight it out for fourth place in this race now then. Uh, so now through little field A and uh, B. And uh, so around we go around the section of corners. And uh, so around Woodcote. And uh, let's see then. Will Sorok can get the move done this time. On Joel Eriksson through into Cops Corner. Sorotkin not close enough. That time around on Joel coming out of turn one. Heading up towards Maggots and Beckett's now. Then Sorotkin looks to the inside. Will he get the move done? Eriksson covers him off through the first part of Maggots. Then they'll approach Beckett's now then. And then they will soon approach Chapel. Around the second part of Beckett's through into Chapel. Will Sorotkin try the move this time down the hangar straight now? Then he's going to tuck up into Ericsson's slipstream now. Then he's going to look to the inside. Will Sorotkin this time get the move done on Joel Ericsson down into Stowe Corner? Has Sorotkin done enough to get the lead down the inside? Goes the Russian and again, Ericsson just able to hang it around the outside. He's probably frustrating the hell out of Sergey at this stage. He just can't seem to find a way through on Joel Ericsson at this stage. He just keeps it defending up. Joel will, at this stage, take his first ever GP2 victory and Lopez Racing Development's first ever GP2 victory. But he's just got to hold them off for these remaining two and a bit laps in this sprint race now then. As they go around Abbey, Sorokin losing a bit of time. And, uh, well, that's that really through into bridge corner now then. Ericsson has done a stunning job to keep these guys back. But he's still got those important laps to defend them off before he can start celebrating and the pressure possibly getting to Joel at this stage as he looks to get his first ever IFMC GP2 victory through in towards Luffield A we will go before approaching Luffield B and uh, Sorotkin still trying to get hold of him at this stage as they round Woodcote and uh, is Sorotkin going to try and move this time as they come down the pit straight towards Cops Corner and it doesn't look like he's close enough to make a move that time around through Cops. And, uh, well, wasn't close enough either way. Evans wasn't close enough to make an attack on uh, on Sorotkin either. Russell still not within slipstream range of Giotto. He's not got that long now. He's running out of time to try and possibly grab four from the Italian at this stage. Through Chapel we go. Will, will Sorotkin get close to Ericsson this time around now? Then as they come down the hangar straight for the penultimate time today. And uh, now up towards Stowe Corner we go on the track as they feed it round the right-hander. So Otkin doing everything in his power to get Ericsson. But he's only got one and a half, around one and a half laps left to try and pass Ericsson to get his second G to get what will be his fourth GP2 victory of his career. Sorry, not fourth, fifth GP2 victory of his career. Uh, his first one coming for when he was a reserve driver at Martini back at Season 2. Uh, in Manny Core, the sprint race of it, of course. But uh, now he's looking to try and get his first one since last season's sprint race at Silverstone. And, uh, well, that'll be that, really. It'll help out East Midlands Racing a lot in the team's championship as they fight with light based Sony Racing for second place in the moment. So far, Red Bull Academy is currently running away with that in the team's championship. It's just in the driver's championship where everything seems to be closed up. Now up towards Luffield A and B we go. And uh, so now through Luffield A into Luffield B as Ericsson will now start the final lap of the race here at Silverstone. He, if he's able to hold him off, it has been a fantastic bit of defensive driving from Joel Ericsson. He started on pole, had the pressure from the EMRs throughout the entirety of the race, but he's done so well defensively to keep these guys back. And if he can just hold him off, on this final lap, he's going to look good to take his and Lopez Racing Development's first ever IFMC GP2 victory. But now they come around Beckett. Sorotkin trying to get up close through into the second part. Will Sorotkin try to move this time as they go down the hangar straight? And it doesn't look like Sorotkin's close enough to make a move on Ericsson. He'll only have possibly one more chance to make a move and that will be down into Priory. As they go around Stoke Corner now then for the final time today. Round towards... The left-hander now then, up towards Vale and Club on the track. Through to left-hander we go, through around Club Corner. A little lift off the acceleration round this right-hander now then. As he'll now approach Abbey 
for the final time for these guys. As uh, Evans looking strong in third. I don't think Russell's going to get Giotto. So I think Giotto is just still in love. Told off to fourth. But I don't think Sorokin is even close enough to get Ericsson into priory. And I think... That's it in terms of chances for Sorokin. I think Ericsson has just done enough to, to hold on to take his and the team's first ever victory in IFMT GB2. It's been a brilliant piece of defending from this young Swedish driver. He comes around Luffield A, up towards Luffield B he go. And despite all the pressure, he held on to the nerves. Round Woodcut it goes. And it is going to be Joel Ericsson who wins the sprint race here at Silverstone. Congratulations to him and the Lopez Racing Development team. He takes his and the team's first ever IFNC GP2 victory as you retires on the final lap. What happened to Lucas Yore? He will be classified anyway because he has completed 90% of the race distance. What on earth happened to Yore? And oh, he spun down at turn one and beached it down at the exit of Cops. And luckily for him, he will be classified because he has completed 90% of the race distance. But uh, what a way to end the race for Yore. But uh, that's that then really. Sorotkin finishes in second. Evans third. Giotto fourth. Russell increases his lead in the championship by finishing fifth. Lynn rounds off the points in sixth. Yurichi is seventh. De Vries is going to cross the line in eighth position. Sasha Fenestras crosses the line ninth. Norman Nato finishes tenth. Nikita Masapin eleventh for him. Mick Schumacher up to twelfth. Dan Tickton thirteenth. Jolien Palmer fourteenth. Louis Rousey fifteenth. Pierre Gasly sixteenth. Nobuharu Masashita seventeenth. Lando Norris is going to cross the line in eighteenth after... Um, Losing his front wing with Felix Rosenquist. That incident will be investigated after the race, along with the incident between Stroll and uh, Yura. So uh, now coming around, Woodcote Norris is going to cross the line in 18th position. And Rosenquist 19th, what could have been a chance to take lead in the championship, all for nothing. So they have it then. In the end, Joel Erickson wins the race, the sprint race here at Silverstone after a very good piece of defensive driving from him, despite all the pressure he had during this race. So there you have it, guys. After all of that, here is the result of the sprint race here at Silverstone. Joel Erickson won the race with Sergei Sorotkin in second. Mitch Evans finished in third with Luca Giotto fourth. George Russell was in fifth. With Alex Lynn 6th, Santiago Uishia 7th, Nick De Vries in 8th, Sasha Fenestras in 9th, with uh, Norman Nato in 10th, Nikita Masapin 11th, Mick Schumacher 12th, Dan Tickton 13th, Jolien Palmer in 14th, and if we scroll down the rest of the field, it is Louis Razia 15th, Pierre Gasly 16th, Nobuhara Machisita in 17th, Lando Norris 18th, Felix Rosenquist in 19th, Lucas Yoro was classified in 20th, and the two official retirements were Sean Goliath and Lance Stroll. Uh, they were the retirement. So let's see who set the fastest lap of the race then. Who's going away with the uh, bonus point. And it was in fact Felix Rosenquist with a 1 minute 26.846. So the gap is actually uh, pretty much now 3 points between Russell and uh, and Rosenquist rather than 4. Because Rosenquist has just set the fastest lap. He did a 126.846. He was 1 tenth quicker than Lando Norris. In the end. So there you have it then guys. That has been it for GP2 this weekend. They'll be back next weekend at Magni Core. But stick around now guys. Because coming up next is the main event. The 59 lap British Grand Prix. Which sees Fernando Alonso on pole position. Ahead of Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton. So if you want to go and grab a quick drink. And you can. The podium for GP2 is coming your way just after this. But until then. I've been Jay Doriff1. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Enjoy the GP2 podium.